everyone i am simple patra from simple digital school as you all know hum management information systems aur information systems management ke lecture series already start kar chuke hain today we'll cover lecture 13 which is first topic of unit 3 part 2 that is concept of system so let's proceed but i request each one of you to please like and share the video with others and subscribe the channel if you are new to this channel so let's start before we move on let's see ki hum abhi tak kya kya cover kar chuke hain so that jo naye jude hain they can see it easily hamare paas unit 1 pura cover ho chuka hai which is mis lecture 1 to mis lecture 10 you can get this in the description box and you can go through each and every lecture for bba bcom honors mba and many other courses now dbms ka jo playlist hai this covers your unit 2 you can go through the same description box mein aapko link mil jayega and from lecture 11 onwards we are covering unit 3 so today we'll cover up this concept of system right ab hum isme kya kya cover karenge number 1 system ki definition number 2 elements of the system number 3 characteristics of the system right these three questions can also come up in the examination when we define a system ek system bana kisse hai ek system interrelated set hai kis cheez ka components ka you have components aur unhi components ko hum business procedures bhi bolte hain right all these components or business procedures they work in correlation they work in interrelated manner to achieve a common goal that is why it is said a system is defined as an interrelated set of components or business procedures used within any business unit working together to achieve a common goal hamare jitne components hai wo sab interrelated manner mein kaam karte hain aur unhi components ko hum business procedures bhi bolte hain right they all work together to achieve a common goal all the systems are separate from each other as their goals are different but do remember ke un sab ke jo individual goals hain wo bilkul different hote hain फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक कंप्यूटर सिस्टम में आउटपुट डिवाइसेस का काम है आउटपुट को देना और प्रोसेसर का काम है आपकी इंस्ट्रक्शंस को प्रोसेस करना राइट बट दे बोथ वर्क इन इंटर रिलेटेड मैनर टू गिव द आउटपुट टू द यूजर नाउ द बाउंड्री सेपरेट द सिस्टम फ्रॉम इट्स एनवायरमेंट एक सिस्टम एक एनवायरमेंट के साथ मिलकर काम कर रहा है बट बाउंड्री उसके बीच में डिफाइन करता है वेयर द सिस्टम इज वर्किंग एंड वेयर द एनवायरमेंट एग्जिस्ट The system takes the input from the outside, processes it, and sends the resulting output back to its environment. So the first important step is input लिया जाता है outside world से, उसे process किया जाता है, and then the result is sent back to the environment. और वापस क्या जाता है output. So you must remember a system works in correlation. in interrelated manner a system has components or the business processes involved in it and they work for the common goals but individually they have different goals the system takes input processes it and gives output back to the environment now to be precise a system is a set of interacting and interdependent components forming an integrated whole system now we must keep track of this term this is very important ek pura integrated whole system jisme multiple components kaam kar rahe hain aur wo sab components ek dusre se interact karte hain for one or the another work and they are dependent on one another also for getting the task done so every system has a structure har system ka structure hota hai har system ka behavior hota hai that is the functionality right har system koi na koi function karta hai within the integrated whole system and they all are inter 
connected that is every system has inter connectivity now the most important part here is to realize ki jab hum ek integrated whole system ki baat karte hain to usme components ko hum uske parts se bhi refer kar sakte hain ya hum business processes se bhi refer kar sakte hain jo ki ek dusre se interact bhi kar rahe hain jo ek dusre pe interdependent bhi hain और उन सब सब सिस्टम्स का अपना अपना स्ट्रक्चर है अपनी अपनी फंक्शनैलिटी है और वो सब आपस में इंटर कनेक्टेड भी है नाउ लेट्स सी वन ऑफ द डायग्राम एंड द डायग्राम यू मस्ट इंक्लूड इन द आंसर आल्सो एक पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम है जिसमें इनपुट आ रहा है एनवायरमेंट से प्रोसेस हो रहा है और आउटपुट जनरेट हो रहा है राइट नाउ दिस इनपुट आउटपुट एंड प्रोसेसर दे ऑल आर कंट्रोल्ड थ्रू द कंट्रोल और बाउंड्रीज और इंटरफेसेस वो बाहर का पोर्शन है जिससे सिस्टम इंटरेक्ट कर रहा है दिस इज द बाउंड्री विच डिफाइंस द लिमिट ऑफ दिस सिस्टम आउटसाइड दिस इज द एनवायरमेंट ऑल द एक्सटर्नल एलिमेंट्स विच आर इंटरेक्टिंग विद दिस सिस्टम पुट आउटपुट एलिमेंट दोनों के बेस पर क्या जनरेट किया जाता है फीडबैक राइट नाउ वट आर द इंटरफेसेस दे आर द मीडियम ऑफ कॉम्युनिकेशन इन बिटवीन टू सब सिस्टम्स or in between two components or in between two business procedures we can say right now if the processor has to interact with the output then there is a separate interface in between them correct now let's give a look to the elements of the system one by one boundary as per the diagram line jahan draw ho rahi thi इन साइड और आउटसाइड सिस्टम के बीच में सो द लाइन दैट लिमिट्स द इन साइड एंड आउटसाइड ऑफ द सिस्टम एंड दैट सेट्स ऑफ द सिस्टम फ्रॉम इट्स एनवायरमेंट राइट सो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज जहां इन साइड और आउटसाइड ऑफ द सिस्टम के बीच में लिमिट कर देता है वो बाउंड्री है राइट जो हमारे सिस्टम को बाहर के एनवायरमेंट से डिफ्रेंशिएट कर सेटिंग अप ऑफ द बाउंड्रीज हेल्प्स for isolation of the activities carried in the particular system ek particular system ke andar jo bhi activities hoti hain usko isolate karta hai alag kar deta hai boundary so that the two system activities remain independent of each other do alag alag system ki jo activities hai wo alag alag kaam kare ek dusre mein interference na ho Now interfaces very important point of contact it is the point of contact where a system interacts with its environment they define where and how sub systems communicate with each other so yahan par sabse important cheez jo note karne wali hai boundary se humne system ko aur outside environment ko alag alag kar diya but interface ke through we are enabling the system to interact with that environment in a limited manner in a controlled manner right basically interfaces define karte hain ki kaise ek system aur ek environment aapas mein interact karenge ya do sub systems aapas mein kaise interact karenge interfaces is the medium of communication in between the two sub systems or any system with its environment now what is environment as we have already seen all the external elements all the external elements to the system that interacts with the system if you can note here processor is the main element of the system which actually transforms the input into the output which converts the input into the required output processes may modify the input totally or partially the important part here is to understand ki ek particular processor puri ki puri input ko convert kar sakta hai output mein or if required it can do the partial conversion also that is why it is said processes may modify the input totally or partially now it depends upon the specifications of the output requirement right continuing the same control the control governs the overall system it is the decision making control means governing the overall system 
and it is the decision making sub system that controls all the activities including input processing and output again input it is quite simple to understand that inputs are the information that is entered into the system for being processed right whatever information is entered into the system for being processed is called as a input and output the most important objective of the system is to get an output which is useful for its user output is the final result which comes out of processing input element take input of information for being processed processor transforms or converts it from input into the output and gives the final result which is the result of processing correct now coming back to this diagram we can correlate it very easily that input is whatever input is taken for being processed processor processes on this particular input and gives the required output through the output unit or the output component or the output element control element is required to control input processor output and govern all their activities and the boundaries and interfaces are required for what boundaries are required to separate the environment and the system this is the inside of the system and this is the outside of the system which is separated by this boundaries right and this particular system will interact with this environment through this interface only correct now the left out thing is feedback ab is feedback ki kya zarurat hai ye maine elements of the system mein alag slide pe rakha hai so that you can understand it much better because feedback is required by the controller to control the overall working of the system in a correct manner फीडबैक के थ्रू आपको सारे पॉजिटिव्स और नेगेटिव्स पता चलते हैं एक पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम की वर्किंग या फंक्शनिंग के बारे में दैट इज व्हाई फीडबैक हैज बीन इंक्लूडेड एज एन इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ योर सिस्टम करेक्ट फीडबैक के थ्रू चाहे वो पॉजिटिव हो तो भी नेगेटिव हो तो भी द कंट्रोल एलिमेंट कैन कंट्रोल ऑल द अदर सब सिस्टम्स all components all elements in the better manner and look out for all the improvements required so last element of the system is feedback for the feedback the output is checked with the desired standards of the output set and the necessary steps are taken for achieving the output as per standards this process is called as feedback it helps us to achieve a better control in the system you can see it is very important to control the overall system in a better manner and improve the standard of working improve the standard of output so whatever necessary steps are to be taken for improvement can be designed can be implemented only after the feedback is submitted right so we have completed the elements of the system now what are the characteristics of the system so the most important characteristic of a system is its components its parts the aggregation of different parts the aggregation of different parts that collectively makes up the system right they are also called as a sub system for example ek pure ke pure computer system ke andar uske jo components hai wo processor hoga input device etc jitne bhi uske parts hai they are the sub systems also or components of the computer system also again second important characteristic is the organization that is it implies the structure and order for example hierarchical structure of any company ek company ka hierarchical structure bhi ho sakta hai ya tree structure bhi ho sakta hai depending upon the need of the organization or the company now what is interaction we have seen input element hai output element hai processor element hai now it is important to understand they are working individually also sab alag alag apna kaam bhi kar rahe hain but ek dusre se interact karke 
क्योंकि प्रोसेसर काम करेगा तभी अगर उसको इनपुट मिलेगा इनपुट यूनिट से या इनपुट एलिमेंट से सो इट रेफर्स टू द मैनर इन विच कॉम्पोनेंट इंटरक्ट विद द अदर कॉम्पोनेंट दिस इज क्वाइट इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड आई एम हाईलाइटिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड नाउ फॉर एग्जाम्पल द मेन मेमोरी होल्ड द डेटा दैट हैज टू बी ऑपरेटेड बाय द अरेथमेटिक लॉजिक यूनिट मेमोरी का काम है डेटा को स्टोर करना एल का काम है डेटा पे मैथमेटिकल फंक्शन को ऑपरेट करना दोनों के काम अलग अलग है बट एल को डेटा फेच कहाँ से करना पड़ेगा मेन मेमोरी से और रिजल्ट को वापस स्टोर कहाँ कराना पड़ेगा मेन मेमोरी से सो so, इन दोनों का यहाँ पर इंटरक्शन होगा करेक्ट और ये इंटरक्शन किसके थ्रू होगा इंटर फेसिस के थ्रू होगा करेक्ट नेक्स्ट इज इंटर डिपेंडेंस कॉम्पोनेंट और पार्ट आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन ईच अदर no single component can work alone components or parts are dependent on each other for achieving their common goals of the system for example result of processing done by the processor is shown to the user by the monitor or any other output device only for example a company may manufacture hokar bahut sara products are ready और उसको मार्केट तक पहुंचाना है सेल करना है तो सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट या मार्केटिंग डिपार्टमेंट वाले जब तक काम नहीं करेंगे तब तक इट विल नॉट बी सोल्ड सो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग डिपार्टमेंट इज डिफरेंट सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट इज डिफरेंट मार्केटिंग डिपार्टमेंट इज डिफरेंट बट दे ऑल आर इंटर डिपेंडेंट ऑन ईच अदर फॉर गेटिंग द गुड्स सोल्ड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इंटर Now the next is integration. All the parts or components of the system they work together to achieve the common goal within the system. Though each part performs a unique function, this we have already seen through the diagram also. Central objective or the purpose, which is the main aim goal of any system to work it is the motivation behind the functioning of any system the overall goal to be achieved by the system this also defines the function of the system that why a particular system is working what is the functionality of that particular system that is defined through the central objective or the purpose and this is the common goal or the overall goal which is to be achieved through that particular system designing implementation and functioning all the components work together to achieve that particular objective for example input devices processor and output devices work in an integrated manner collective manner to have a common result or the common objective now most important interrelationship interdependence characteristic we have learned through this only originates the interrelationship jab ek part system ka dusre part par dependent hoga apne kamon ke liye so that creates the interrelationship amongst the two parts or the two sub systems right so that is why it is more or less the dependence of one part of the system or one or the more parts of the system right we have seen ki kaise input processor ye dono interrelate karke kaam karte hain so there is a interrelationship existing amongst the different components of a particular system right with this we have covered definition of a system characteristics of a system elements of a system today our next topic will be types of system i'll wait for your comments in the comment section thank you see you again bye bye take care